Hey girls and boys, here's a caterpillar update. I'm holding one of them right now. And you might notice it looks like they have two sets of antennas. Well, they actually do. But these, this is the front of his body right here where he's gonna eat, the ones that are longer. And that's kind of a um, camouflage or a trick so that birds don't know which side is his head. So they kind of stay away from him because they're just not sure about him. He's kind of looking around right now. He's been still for a while. Monarch caterpillars are kind of cool because you can hold them. They won't sting you or bite you, but they it does tickle. Like right now when he or she is walking on me, it kind of tickles, but he's just kind of looking around. And as Pop said yesterday, the yellow and white uh, markings kind of keep the birds away from him too. Uh, that kind of makes them think they're poisonous and it's not a good idea to eat them. Right now I think he's probably wishing he could find a leaf instead of just my finger. He's looking around. And this one's pretty big. I think, I don't know. He probably has a few more days before he'll turn into a chrysalis. Uh-oh. <laughs> Guess what he just did? He just pooped on me. Oh, and I don't like potty talk, but there we go. Caterpillar poop. Oh, actually though, no, I take that back. You know what? That is his skin, part of his skin that he molted. I thought it was caterpillar poop, but caterpillars molt up to five times a monarch caterpillars um, and so you can actually see his antennas even the skin comes off the antennas too so but they do poop too so um, there's always a chance of that happening when you're holding them so as we're hearing a lot right now during coronavirus after you hold a caterpillar it's very important to wash your hands <laughs> But let's see if we can get him a leaf and see if um, he'll eat it while we sit here. I gotta make sure the leaf doesn't have an egg on it before I pull it off. Cause I sure don't wanna have it. Oh, what's he think? Hmm. Well, he might not be hungry right now since he just got done molting. Oh, there, I don't know. If you look real closely at the front of his face, you can see little jaws that he uses for cutting the leaf and eating the leaf. But I don't think he's hungry right this minute. All right, boys and girls, I'm gonna put him back on the plant since he's not really eating right now. And we'll see. He does, but we can check on the other caterpillars. I think the ones that are on this side, I think one over here. I think they do that when they're molting. There's several too right here. They will sit still for hours while they're molting and then all of a sudden start moving again. So I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here with these two. Oh, there he goes. He's crawling on the leaf. Maybe he will eat it. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, here we go. There we go. You want to go back home? We are going to put him in a little uh, container that I use when at school. And that way we can find where they make their chrysalis. They make it in the container. But out in nature, a lot of times you can't find them. They find some very creative places to put their chrysalis and they're hard hard to find. Very acrobatic. Look how bendy he gets when he's climbing. Where's he going? Okay, 
boys and girls, we think this one right here is molting right now, and you can kind of see his skin moving. He's crawling out of his skin. Yeah. So this happens about five times as the caterpillar grows before he, um, or she <laughs> forms a chrysalis. You and I, we shed skin all the time, just everywhere, and um, we don't do it all at once like a caterpillar crawling out of their skin. done there will be this big little or a bit and not big a little chunk of skin hanging there it looks brighter it takes a while for it to get out of its skin doesn't it, it looks like he's almost done I think you can pull that out He's probably going to rest a little while and let his skin firm up a little bit. We'll check back again later on. Bye. Hey girls and boys. This is our backyard. We were in our front yard earlier and this is our milkweed plant. And as you can see, it has very few leaves on it. So when it gets like this, I always think, hmm. There must be some chrysalis around here somewhere. So I always go up here and look up here along here. You can see some empty ones from um, years ago. They just hang there and they're empty. And I didn't see any along here. We have quite a few empty ones there. So I was just looking around. I came over here to our little shed and I looked and all the way up at the top, <gasps> Do you see it? It's a chrysalis. So that's what our caterpillars we've been following are gonna end up looking like. So we'll follow this chrysalis too and see um, when it's gonna hatch. I don't, the way you can tell is the chrysalis starts turning black. Right now it's really green and I'm not sure if you can see it has little gold dots on it. So um, we'll just watch it every day since we have all the time in the world right now and see when it hatches. So stay tuned, bye.